Welcome to Straight Talk Africa, live from the Voice of America studios here in Washington. It's Wednesday, October 12th. I am Shaka Sali. Today, we'll talk about African leaders being honored with the prestigious awards as we look at the significance of this year's Mo Ibrahim Prize for Good Governance and Leadership in Africa. Thank you, Paul, for, well, I guess uh, we have to go for a report. Uh, uh, from my colleague, of course, uh, Paul Sisko. Nothing is as important as ensuring the quality of governance and good leadership in Africa. 2009, again in 2010, no one met the criteria for the African Leadership Award established by Sudanese-born businessman Mo Ibrahim. Five million dollars in prize money to a former African leader, setting an example of honest, democratic government. The head of the prize committee is Salim Amen Salim. Ladies and gentlemen, after extensive deliberations, the prize committee unanimously agreed on the winner for the, for the 2011 Mo Ibrahim Laureate. It's therefore my honor and privilege to announce the winner, President Pedro Verona Perez, the former president of Cape Verde. Perez received the world's largest individual award intended to encourage good governance on a continent plagued by corruption and a lack of adherence to democratic principles for his 10-year leadership of Cape Verde. The prize committee has been greatly impressed by President Pedro Perez's vision in transforming Cape Verde into a model of democracy, stability, and increased prosperity. Throughout his long career, President Perez has, dedicated, has been dedicated to the service of his people, including those in the diaspora, while retaining his humility and personal integrity. The foundation rates governance across Africa annually. Sudanese businessman Mo Ibrahim created the award and foundation. Governance for us is, 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 is the main challenge and it is the single most important issue if we're really uh, uh, serious about development uh, in Africa. And uh, what is governance? It's a basket of public goods citizens expect from their countries. So we don't judge on the basis of declared intentions, declared policies, programs, but we judge based on the outcome. President Perez is praised for emphasizing food security, education, and the health of his citizens, bringing economic development to Cape Verde for his human rights record, adherence to democratic principles, and the rule of law. And the Nobel Peace Prize on Friday awarded to two African women and one from Yemen. Liberian peace activist Lema Bowie and Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, Africa's first democratically elected female president, received the prestigious honor for 2011 along with Yemeni peace activist Tawaku Kaman. It is the Norwegian Nobel Committee's hope that the prize to Ellen Sirleaf Johnson, Lema Bowie, and Tawaku Karman will help to bring an end to the suppression of women that still occurs in many countries and to realize the great potential for democracy and peace that women can represent. Two other Nobel Peace Prize winners are remembered this week. South African Archbishop Desmond Tutu, who won the Peace Prize in 1984, celebrated his 80th birthday on Friday. And Kenyan Nobel Peace Prize winner and environmentalist Wangari Maathai recognized for her contribution to sustainable development, democracy, and peace in 2004, was honored with a state funeral on Saturday. Africa and the world is a more hopeful and better place for the life she led, and a little sadder for her passing. Paul Sisko, VOA News.